Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to first and foremost welcome you to my channel if you've never been here before. Uh, welcome. This is Glam Girl TV and I'm Glam Girl. I'm here today to talk to you about Fit Track and it's a scale. It's the new year. I know a lot of people have some type of New Year's resolutions and most of the time it's about weight. This time for me, it's not necessarily about weight, even though I got a scale. I'm not just looking at my weight. Although I do weigh myself every single day, it is routine for me to weigh myself every single morning. Um, but um, I bought this scale. Let's open it. And the reason why I bought this scale it was actually due to an influencer on Instagram. And um, when she showed that it tells you more than just your weight, I was kind of hooked. So um, here we go and we're opening it now. Fit Track. So it came in this box. Um, that's all that it came in. It wasn't like padded or anything. Um, so this is it. And it's a smart body composition monitoring, um, scale. It says on here that, uh, track your health with 17 index measures. Um, it tells you your weight, your BMI, your body fat percentage, muscle mass, hydration level, which is something that is my resolution this year is to drink more water. I am terrible with drinking enough water for my body size. I think I can drink the little bitty waters, the 10 ounce for the whole day and I'm good. So um, that's my new year's resolution. So it does tell you the hydration level, uh, bone mass, BMR, uh, visceral fat, protein percentage, body age. I'm really, 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 really curious to see how much it says my body age is, like what number it is. Um, it says weight control, standard weight, body fat, weight without fat, uh, muscle weight, protein amount, and obesity degree. Hopefully, I'm not in that range. But anyway. Um, so, hopefully, I can get better um, results by monitoring all of those things with the Fit Track um, scale. I'm not promoting this. Um, I'm not getting paid to say anything about this. I truly, um, I give 100% honest reviews on my channel and I do that for a specific reason. I can't stand to see influencers on whatever um, Instagram, um, YouTube platforms they have. Um, I hate when they get up there and rave about an item that they never purchased, one. Um, I can't stand that. That's one thing if you're getting something for free and you say, look, I got this, you know, prom like promo or I, I was gifted this and I'm trying it out. Just letting y'all know that I'm trying this item out, but don't get something gifted to you or don't, you know, it, for PR purposes or whatever and rave about something and you absolutely hate it or you're never gonna use it again. Um, a scale is something I use every single day. So regardless, um, if I don't like all the other, you know, things that come with this scale, I'm going to be using this scale anyway because I weigh myself every single day. It's a way that I keep myself in check. So um, that's why I weigh myself every day. It's really not... Uh, to see if I lost weight or gained weight. It's really just to make sure that I stay in line and that I don't go too far above um, the weight that I'm at. And currently I'm in my one, 140, 142 range. Um, I should not be that much um, from my size. Um, I should be like, it says I think 105 to like 120. 
to me, that's probably not going to be um, what I'm ever going to be again. Maybe when I was younger, I could be that, but um, definitely not in my 30s. So I just opened up the box and let's see what it looks like. It looked really pretty when the uh, influencer showed it. I'm curious to see if it's as pretty in person. I really liked the color of it. Um, I think it'll go well with, because I keep my scale inside of my closet. It's white and silver, which are the colors inside of my closet. So this is what it looks like. And um, that's the back. So, and it says fit track at the bottom right here. So I'll be doing a demonstration on this um, another time, but um, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And um, stay tuned for more information about this scale and how to actually turn it on and work it. And I did actually have to put an app on my phone for this. So FYI, I think it uh, coincides together. So keep that in mind. And I hope you had a great Merry Christmas and um, a Happy New Year. And if you haven't made any resolutions, um, make small ones. See, um, see if you can drink more water this year or um, maybe work out five minutes a day, you know, or work out two times a week. Make really, really small changes and um, if you're looking into weight loss or just getting healthier this year, um, just make really, really small changes and um, a New Year's resolution to accomplish. And um, I think the smaller you scale it back and start from there, I think the better off you are because um, nobody wants to live up to something that they really, truly can't do. Um, I had somebody ask me the other day, try keto with me and it's just not going to happen. I laughed. It's just, I have no self-control. Um, I love carbs and I'll always love carbs. And, um, another new year's resolution I had was to not eat anything that I don't want. Like if I'm not hungry, I'm not going to eat. Uh, why feed myself if I'm not hungry? That's just a waste of calories. Um, and I'm not going to eat anything I don't want to eat. So, um, if I feel like it's a waste of calories and I'm not, I don't feel like I'm going to enjoy it. I'm not going to eat it. So I just think that life is too short to, um, try and play by certain rules. And I feel like keto works for so many people. And look, I've seen really great results from it. I'm not trying to knock it. It's just not for me. And it's not something that I can do. So it's just not realistic. If a goal is not realistic for you, it's, you know, you're going to fail at it if you think you're going to try and do it and you end up not being able to do it. Um, the third day of me drinking a jug of water, I said I was going to quit. I ended up going to drink the last bit um, before I went to sleep that night because I was just like, you know what? It, it's really the water intake is more of a health issue than a weight loss issue. So I just made myself drink the rest of it. Um, I do feel like I need to scale back a little bit and not drink the whole jug of water. Um, it made me feel like I ate a buffet. So I'm not looking to feel full off of the water. I just want more water intake to, for health reasons. Um, I think my body is dehydrated a lot of the times. And so I'm just trying to um, actually put more water into my system so that I'm healthier in turn. So uh, that's really and truly why I am upping my water intake. Um, it has nothing to do with trying to lose weight. It's just a health reason. And not that I'm um, in danger of anything. I just think that it's something that I have to do. I, like I said, I drink very, very small amounts of water throughout the entire day. So I just thought that it was a really smart move to start that now um, with the new health journey that I'm on. So um, the Fit Track uh, scale comes with a little booklet. I'm sure the little booklet tells you how to turn it on um, to actually um, download the app. It's what it looks like. Um, you have to probably uh, create an account and um, 
and then create your profile on the app so that it, it tells you on the scale, I'm sure. I'm gonna do all that demonstration. I'm gonna record that. I'm probably not gonna show my face since the camera is going to be shown to the actual um, scale. So um, just keep tuned for that. That's gonna be my next video. And I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.